Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Hello, Valda. It's David Good Graham day, speaking David from Graham. London. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Good. very, very well. Good. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, just tell your engineer you're a little bit low, but we'll go on with the conversation. My audience is really excited that I get to talk to David Graham. He's a oh, British well, actor, I'm thrilled. and he's reprising his role as the voice of Parker, on a computer animated 1960 remake of Thunderbirds Go. David, I am so excited that you are doing this. Tell me, how do you feel? I'm as excited as you are, <laughs> and that I've been invited back after all these years. And um, I live in London, and the executives involved came up to see me. I think they were checking me out to see if I was still in one piece. And uh, fortunately, uh, the character of Parker is in my vocal DNA, if I may put it like that. So I had no trouble resuming where I left off nearly 60 years ago. That is so cool. Okay, so yeah. when we hear you on Thunderbirds, and I just finished listening to a clip, this is the David Parker, David Graham we listen to, or is it you have a different voice? Because I have multiple voices. Well, um, I've been always lucky that I've had a wonderfully good ear for accents and voices. Uh, that is, apart from my acting career in theatre and television and the odd film and radio. So I've been able to, you know, do the animation as a, not a sideline, but side by side with my other career, which, and I take it all very seriously, of course. Well, it's a serious job. I got. I just finished watching Thunderbirds Go, and I heard such. I had read such great comments from my audience. You know, oh, they wonderful. Had said, yeah, they say they gravitate towards the Thunderbirds because it's search and rescue, and it's not violence. Ah, you've hit it right on the nail. I always say the wonderful thing about the series, not only the new series but the old series, that there's no gratuitous violence. There are all sorts of black eyes, and the villains get bopped in the end, but there's no violence and there's suspense and wonderfully live action and wonderful special effects. And that's what I think makes the series such a family show. It and is. Of course, and of course, uh, I contribute uh, the voice of Parker as well. You do? That, and, and I think that's astounding because they went back get you from the original series, and now you're a part of this, and you're going into your second season on Amazon Prime. That's right. It's, it's just started going out here. And uh, dare I say it, there may be a third series. Oh, just make my heart flutter, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It made my heart flutter, too. And, and it, it, it helped my bank balance as well. <laughs> That's the next thing I was going to say, because it looks like it's looking pretty good for you. It's looking pretty good, so I, I buy an extra pint of milk a week. Oh, see, you're living a high <laughs> life. There you go. I'm living it up, dear. Well, look, I'm living I found, it up. I found something real interesting also, too, about uh, Thunderbirds or Go. The shadow vehicle is designed by the same designer who designed the Transformers, it says. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I, I, did, I didn't did know, know that. that? But, no, but that's very interesting. That's very interesting, and I hope it's a true fact. You know there's so much out there on the Internet, so, you know, everything you got yeah. to take with a grain of salt. But it, I, I, can see, I can see the comparison because I'm a Transformer fan because of my kids. 
So you've yeah. got everything going with for you. Now, let me ask you, this, is this like what I call a second act? Is this a second act for you with Thunderbirds or Go? A second act, yeah, yes, of the new series. It's the second act, and I'm hoping there'll be a third, <laughs> you see. Well, I um, think so, with the great reviews that I've heard and what's well, going I'm so, on. Yeah, I'm so delighted. I was in Los Angeles in um, the spring doing some pre-publicity, after Amazon Prime uh, uh, bought the series and they treated me wonderfully well and I was able to combine it with a visit to my sister who lives near San Francisco. Well, so, isn't that wonderful? Boy, yeah. this is a win-win for you, isn't it? A win-win in a big way. I'm a very lucky man. You are And you need luck in man. our business. Pardon? You're very blessed. Uh, yeah, I am. And what I meant by second act is usually uh, I had a first career. I had a career as a software analyst in a Fortune 500 company. And now oh, this is my second act radio. So you're, that's what I meant. You're in your second act. Same job, but second act. Yeah, same job. Yeah, uh, exactly. No, I, I always wanted to be an actor as a child. And, you know, and it's a very overcrowded profession. And, um, and you have to hang in there and keep the faith. And keep the talent in well, one piece. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for staying with me. I had the opportunity to talk to the great David Graham. And you can catch him on Thunderbirds Are Go on Amazon Prime. David, thank you so very much. I wish you the best that God has to offer your life and continue doing what you're doing. Thank you, Valor. It's a, been a pleasure to talk to you. Bye. Thank you.